We're starting it now. Right now. Okay. Hello everyone, this is the CJTT semi-final with WK and GK. And I'm streaming with Mad Dog, Black, Zero, and eventually Snoop. But he's not here yet. Hi guys. Mad Dog here. Hello. Hi oh, guys, it's Black. Should be should be a good match coming up tonight. Yeah, this will be close for sure. Very similar to the WK and the Bellion match we had last week. The WK G or the the GK Bellion, Bellion, Bellion match. Or, yeah, GK Bellion match. Good job, Mike. Well, he got it wrong too. As long oh. as we get as long as we get it wrong in a group effort. That's all that matters. Let's see how this one's going to turn out. First encounter, GK and WK. GK 120 WK were the favorites. They, I'd say they still are, as they are the number one seed. That was the season finale, right? Oh, that was the season. last round, I think. Yeah, actually, GK was one of uh, only two teams to take a match from WK. And, of course, West Knights figured, finished up the season in fourth. Uh, GK finished up or, uh, in first for West Knights, fourth for GK, uh, but still pretty close. Only one draw actually separated their their scores. It's been kind of interesting. I think GK's you know really developed and uh, enhanced their strategy to deal with more of a Cav Archer um, heavy type of scenario that uh, WK is used to. Uh, coming into this tournament, I never expected GK to be pretty strong on the Expos and Archers, which they surprised me by being really strong. They've been extremely effective in all their last matches. Yeah, this will be the uh, semi-finals. Whoever wins here is going to be one of the teams that's going to be in the, um, in the finals. Seems like a lot of pressure. <laughs> I'm sure it is, actually. This is where men are made. Or women. <laughs> well, this is GK's, one of their first, uh, first tournaments, uh, at least in a very long time. Oh, yeah, they're, right. They're Looks like we're going to the first map here. WK's choice. WK chose Desert Town Top. GK goes Redox, WK took Nords. What a uh, unusual scenario. Well, GK has definitely been building for a while. It started with the uh, K-Blue tournament where they um, really wanted to prove themselves and then they were in the, um, uh, the Nasty Season 1 uh, there towards the end as well, so took Nasty Season 2 off, but now they're back in full force for the uh, Calamity John tournament. Weren't they third or fourth seed in K-Boob? They were pretty high up there. Yeah, they fought us in the um, the semifinals, actually, in K-Boob. So, you know, same type of scenario, they made it this far in the K-Boob. <laughs> But that's been a long time ago. I'm yeah, you're so talking about a year and a half, almost two years ago. It's hard for me to remember a lot of stuff like that. Get a little well, age on in. <laughs> they're certainly on a hot streak. They beat uh, IAH last week, and they, they beat, again, West Nice in the season finale. They didn't beat IAH, they pummeled them. No, yeah. it, was, it was a really close match, I thought. I mean, you guys played all but one round in, in two of those maps. That's not pummeling. <laughs> it's 
I mean, I, I think it was a good fight from, from both of you guys. Don't say good fight, Mad Dog doesn't like good fight. <laughs> um, nice so, I like so, that's right. So it looks like this may get underway soon, question mark? Uh, yes, we're just handling out limiting spec um, on request of WK and to encourage our stream. Spec will be limited to only members of the roster. It's terrible to forcibly subject somebody to this type of commentary. <laughs> I and mean, I would imagine you could just mute it, but still, to have to I get mean, through I, that. Anyone be able to hear the, the hoof beat? Yes. <laughs> Wiley wants to encourage the stream and <laughs> to not have any server stress with too many people on. So I'm going to switch it now. Me. If someone can switch it, please. Desert Town top. Or Rodox top. Wait, let me get this right. Sorry about that. Yeah, we should get the map right. Desert yeah. Town, top Nords, bottom Rodox. Here it goes. <laughs> Make sure to get your streamer fainter. So here we go, CWK again choosing Desert Town as, you know, they've put their work into it, etc. Kind of made this their map. We may be looking at a reroll. GK one short. Just figuring out if it's going to be a 7v7 or... 6v6. And GK's got... GK and West Knight got some extra guys. I guess 7 on 7 is what they want to go with. Can you throw a streamer again? Yeah. And a false spawn, this should be going live. Following GK here, GK, very imp heavy, 4 5 imp, false like trail by two crossbows. Yep, 5 imp, two crossbows. West Knight showing 4 infantry, two archers. Uh, f uh, they're also 5 imp, uh, two range. Uh, neither team running a cav so far. Oh, we, wow, we got some action early here. Going for the ambush. One of the Varel try to yeah, hide legs, out the bush. Legs are up top. And this definitely, so far, since uh, West Knights have been playing this map, has been the battle scene right here. Yeah. This little GK area is in map. a bad spot right now with legs up top. He's just going to pick away at him until they back up and find another place to stand. GK kind of looking like they're not sure what they want to do here. And this has quickly turned into West Knight's signature map. There's something about it they like. They tend to be, they tend to do well on it as well. Yeah, GK's backing up now. But a couple of their guys are about half health. Yeah, they have taken some damage so far and really haven't dealt any out yet. GK definitely should be as much as they were prepared for Frosty Battle last week. They should definitely be prepared for this because they knew it was coming. So they're just kind of holding back there, trying to slow the pace a little bit. I wonder if they actually came around that corner and knew they, the other team was right there or if that uh, caught them off guard. Mm -hmm. A lot of throwing axes being spent. I would guess they, they wanted to get there before uh, West Knight Archers got up top. And I think that threw them off more than anything. I'm still not quite familiar with the Master of the Field spawns on this. 
map, but I'm pretty sure one spawns right on that cap that that walkway that yeah, West Knights is on. Am I correct? Yes. Just yeah, behind them. I think GK is perfectly content. I think they're gonna just wait till Master kind of give them this little area. Got to watch that Archer spread them. WK with all their very patient infantry. <laughs> we'll see how Doing long the that lasts. Yeah. Noticing a couple of uh, high pings for both teams. Let's hope that gets settled out quickly. Far on the other side of the map. Yep. So this could go either way, depending on who gets there first. And... I believe we saw a scenario similar to this in the West Knights Rebels match. Yeah, we did. If GK GK moves quickly and moves with intent, then they should get to the flag before West Knights do. But it'll be very close either way. It's going to be a good fight. West Knights come around the corner. It's, it's going. They're getting there right at the same time. Yeah. This could yep. be very interesting. I think uh, WK has the advantage with uh, being able to place archers back behind that wall. But This is where GK needs to assert some dominance right here. And the melee looks like they're doing it. They're doing it, yeah. GK has always been very good about sucking one player back into the rest of their imp uh, to get the double teams. They got some nice spearmen sword and board combos going on. Although he left to go get the archer. And that was really good. GK was able to fight almost all of WK's imp without being harassed by their archers. 4v2 here. GK's got a crossbow tucked way back. Where's the second West Knight at? Oh. Yep, it's interesting now. Got Garen and Chewy versus Cal and and lag. Positioning is definitely favoring GK. Can't let that... This time that GK is spending on the flag might be the difference maker. The cow finishes uh, the play. Two kicks. Nice. Yeah, if the first round is any indication... This is going to be a very, very good match. Yeah. Yeah, that was clutch on uh, Cal and Lax part. You got to think that West Knights, this being their map, they're not going to, they're not game planning to have two guys pull it, pull a two-four victory out every time. It's true. GK running right this time. Towards uh, towards West Knight spawn. West Knight still trying to locate him. And I think this no, I don't think he saw him yet. Yeah, I don't think so. Well, he's kind of hanging back, looking scout. There they go. Yeah, they definitely see him now. West Knights are starting to group back together. I'll say they could actually pinch uh, Wiley right there. GK is getting in their face early. I think West Knights would much rather have GK on the other side of this little courtyard. It's a lot harder to get archer spread on this one. They're being effective though. Wow. Achilles was Achilles with two consecutive headshots. Well, even if that wasn't where they wanted them, they certainly took it to them there. Yeah, the range played super heavy in that. It's not a very, it's not a very wide angle though, that you can get. 
on that archway. Surprised that they were able to be so effective. Find those two really talented archers right there. It's kind of it's kind of one of those that's that's all they do, or that's most of what they do. So they can really excel at it. I don't think I ever see Lagstro without a uh, a bow in his hand. See if GK um, kind of slows GK it up. GK is heavy on crossbow. I'm counting five right now. Hmm. Six, seven. They are all crossbow. <laughs> I mean, that could work in their favor. You know, WK is playing it real defensively, even with all their infantry. Um, I think uh, I think GK is trying to channel their inner Paul. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, they they have all their crossbows in one spot on the map. It's I, I think West Knights. Once they figure it out, I think I won't, wouldn't be surprised if they just go ahead and rush one of the groups early. Yep, just make a push. It's taking its toll, though. Yeah, West Knight's starting to get 1v1s against Crossbowmen, and it's paying off. The thing you're going to run into here is crossbows trying to melee against Nord infantry. It's doable, but not if they got mail or something like that. You just don't have really the weaponry to make it happen. Yeah, for GK to go in there with all crossbows and then clump together, I think that was way too aggressive. For them. Like with a strat like that, they probably want to mirror what Wapa did uh, last week. Uh, shoot and run away. <laughs> but yeah. GK, GK's trying to pull what Wapa did here. But Wapa, instead of an infantry, they had a cav and did not go well for them at all. WK was fast on reacting and they just adapted and beat them every round, basically. There's a lot more angles that you have to account for in this map, too, as opposed to Nordtown. I think it's simply by the fact that this map is really easy to pin down a person. Crossbow doesn't, like, if he's shooting, and if he can just push him, and he's not going to have much room to run, they can just harass him and not allow him to shoot. GK is still sticking with the uh, the all crossbow strategy. I see a couple infantry. There is do one, they have one infantry. One. Yeah, they do have one. That changes everything. <laughs> Oh, wow. And this and is not good. They got the all the crossbows <laughs> bottled up. Yeah, yeah, this is West Knights. I think West Knights are still kind of apprehensive about one. They, they kind of want to locate the rest of the GK before they charge in. But if they knew just how much GK was stacked, I think they'd be charging right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's interesting. See four guys, and most of them are crossbows. I think they're just waiting for that archer to flank them. Throw by Wiley. What am I talking about? That's not nice. That's a luck move. Lucky <laughs> throw by Wiley. All, all throwing is, is luck. <laughs> There's no real skill in throwing. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Wait, this game actually requires skill? No, zero. That's how we can play it. <laughs> WK finally making their move, making them push. Yeah. Kind of just need to push that group. Don't get, yeah. don't get tied down too long. Getting those rear. Yeah, GK still holding their own here. I know, even with the crossbowmen that they left. I still think they have too many crossbows in melee, and yeah. not many backing off to cover to shoot. But even then, like, Cal's, Cal's got the 
the banded armor on and taking four hits and is still in the game. It's, it's a little much of too little too late for GK. GK needs a sweep now. Keep this map a tie. West Knight's very sound and very solid on this map. You pass streamer again? Yeah. It's a tough thing. If you're going to do all crossbows like that, you got to make sure you don't get into melee. And on this map, that's incredibly hard. You know, something like Nortown or, or, or something like that, you can hem up on the catwalks, and you got you got room to fall back while someone covers you. Here, there's so many twists and turns, you, you don't have a lot of that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. There's too many angles to really pull off an effective crossbow kiting strategy. K's being pretty aggressive. Seems like they've identified where they are, and they're pushing them into yeah they've been pressing the action most of the match so far if they press this though it can't be good oh wow preemptive TK and uh Ragnola goes down and the rest of the West Knights are do not hesitate to loot his body <laughs> <laughs> uh, look I'd say that's a new strategy the West Knights have yeah I mean I mean, Ragnol is kind of throwaway anyway, so if you can just get some good stuff off of him. Just kidding, Rag. Love you. Nobody Everybody knows they're that. They're actually bad. Everybody knows that we sacrificed zero to the black magic for us to have our victories. Zero is nothing but a sacrifice. I mean, because it can't do anything. What's it going to do? I'm pretty sure I can have or him for or Archer. He can't do any of that shit. TK has definitely slowed it down here. They were moving with a purpose, and now they're just kind of waiting to see what happens, I think. I think WK is a little bit too spread out. You have Viley sitting in the bush trying to ambush someone. And then they're all scattered along that top lane over there. You can see. GK's uncertainty kind of showing right now. Yeah, they definitely need to get around, get around under the belt, build a little confidence back. So far, their melee has been strong. It's just they've been caught in so many bad positions letting the throne and the range just decimate them before the melee can really take effect. Yeah, Achilles and um, lag a lot are definitely, definitely winning this for WK so far. So interesting, interesting to see that uh, neither team is running a cav yet, which has almost become standard on no matter what the map. But uh, it's good to see good to see a shift in that type of strategy. And that back spawn from Master again. GK is definitely in a position to hit it first. Does GK know where West Knights are, though? Because, I mean, GK is being mighty slow getting to the flag. It's kind of one of those things where, really, you just set up for the other team coming in. You're not going to be able to cap the flag with this amount of time and this many yeah. players up. So here you just kind of either you know, lay your ambush or lay to where you can get um, try and make something happen as they're moving, hopefully spread apart. Putting everybody on the flag, in my opinion, is a bad idea. I think GK locks this up right here. West Knights are going to yeah. feel the ticking 
taking the master of the field and they're going to force something, I think, GK. Should we, we do see West Knights flanking and trying to go for the archer? Oh, GK definitely has an advantage here. Got all their infantry stacked. WK is still back. not enough. <laughs> yeah. WK is winning a crossbow versus imp fight there. WK man managed to pick off the archer. They got him pinned now with Expos. This is not good for GK. Yeah, GK is pushing the move on the flag, though. It's almost like they backed off to try and babysit the flag a little bit. Two good kills by Derby. Got a 3v3. Mm -hmm. Got two crossbows. Um, you don't... They gotta, they gotta break off that inf. They gotta get in those crossbows' face, take them out quickly. Yeah, they give the crossbows a lot of time to think. Crossbows aren't really reloading though. They're, they're gauging in the melee anyway. If they stay alive for ten seconds, they may have this. Yeah. And it looks like they will have it. They got down it. to it. Yep. Nice. Seems like no one's intent is to save their gear. Wow. What a what a close round. <laughs> that was a tight round. I think what sealed the deal there for what's it called GK was that the cr their archer was separated by an infantry and a crossbow, and he managed to hold them off for a good minute. So the forces they couldn't push, WK couldn't really push in because they were outnumbered. Yeah, that was Gurn taking on taking that on that two v one. GK, <laughs> look at this shield wall. <laughs> <laughs> Got Chewie as an archer, from what I can see. I think they're playing hostage. Chewie's the hostage. Obviously, Counter Strike reference. GK doing what most most people would do is Nords on this map. Yep, forcing Press, the issue. Pressing in. Gotta watch that throwing though. That what snipe? That th that throwing is just a key staple of their offense, and it's devastating. Just the meat grinding. I know. In fight right now. Surrounding them. Yeah. Uh, this is we're having. Thing only the one archery pays off. Just surrounded. Swarm. Four v two. So this round's gonna go to GK. GK is great in their melee, but their style is definitely very defensive. Uh, they let you hit hit their shield once or twice, waiting on for waiting on their uh, teammate to get a hit. Uh, I think West Knights could pay off with a hammer or two. The uh, now that you have GK two rounds under their belt as Nords, it would it's it's very possible that we could be seeing a a four o four o tie. It's very hard to stop Nords once they start getting checking, stacking mail. Of course, only one GK has mail, though. I think they opted for to picking up the heavy throwing axes. Yep. You can see a lot of first call shields there and a lot of thrones. Yep, and then a trade-off. Looks like WK went heavy infantry. The same abuse that they were uh, giving out a couple rounds before. Yeah, I think they're they're that position. spot. I don't know how many West Knights have hammers, but I think at this point, some of the West Knights need to have hammers, mitigate that armor a little bit, and the shields. I'm not sure what the West Knights was doing there. They were going into a position where they caught GK earlier. This map. Yeah. 
Yeah, they they finally realized that was a terrible place and backed off without losing a guy and, you know, taking out one of the GKs. I've seen a lot of West Knights with with throwing and axes and and arrows in their in their bodies. I don't have the health meters up, but I imagine a lot of them are hurting. Yeah, they're hurting. A lot of them are at half. WK still has a lot of jabs up. GK is exhausting most of their throne. Uh, I think that... GK... Sorry, go ahead, my dog. Uh, just during that whole thing, they, they didn't throw a bit, uh, saving it for the latter latter part of the round. I think GK needs to take a breath here and realize that this could be a dangerous push. They're kind of bottled up, and yeah. West Knights could potentially get crossbows on both sides. I think GK would have this round. If they had not dropped the archer, she would win infantry this round. If he was in position up top like he was previously... As an archer, he could have picked the WK off when they pushed. Oh, excellent, excellent throw. Lucky, right? Luck. I think, <laughs> I think now now the GK, yep, now that they know where the, arch, the crossbow's at, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they, they charge picked in. Up an, they could definitely another pull crossbow. off. But it's West Knight's oh, kind of pushing goodness. out. Gotta watch that hammer. Looks like West Knights want to fight at that little entrance for the hammer. Hammer down. Three on four. Yeah, infantry swarm. The final round. It's good, patient play by GK. It really was. That uh, that jab by D man was probably very <laughs> underrated. It's not just any other kill because that that brought West Knight's crossbow count to one. And allowed them, if they wanted to, they could have pushed in and just accounted for that crossbow. Which is kind of what happened, even though West Knights forced the issue a little bit. Let's not forget to mention Derpy Hoves did get a jab kill on Achilles, which was the other crossbow. Oh man. That is a familiar choke point? No, we're not, we're not worried about that. It's all about D-Man. <laughs> WK coming in behind um, GK from their spawn side. Looks like GK was just kind of waiting there to see where West Knights were going to push out or pop up. Yeah, it's a very similar strategy from West Knights in this place, though. So. Yeah, really working that upper upper catwalk, that upper walkway. West Knights, I think, have one crossbow. And the rest have lots of jabs on the on the back. Still leather all over GK's team. Everybody yeah. in leather. I don't know where all the money's going. I think all the money's going to all those throwing axes. <laughs> Still. Win three rounds in a row. Can at least have one Whoa. guy in mail. Well, Great up. hammer oh, play by Beryl. Beryl's being very effective with WK the so far. The experts are out of position. Two down so far. GK fighting back. Evens it up. A lot of individual melee. Yeah, one on ones everywhere. This is this is tight. Mm -hmm. Black sure trying to hold on and takes yeah. a throwing axe by mock. GK pulls ahead a little bit, two up for WK. Yes, they're two best though, Wiley and Cal. Shields can't hold up though. Yeah. All that's left is the finish Wiley. Infantry swarm. So four oh, four oh. GK gets a tie. Tied up. This that's a bad. momentum swing right there. This is West Knight's yeah. map. They go up four nothing, and then you take four straight rounds like that. Now you have your map, where you can pull the advantage. It's big time. And GK's pressing, throwing. Access from spawn. <laughs> That's wonderful. It's 
So hopefully both of these teams listened to the stream last week and listened to Black complain com uh, completely about the amount of time this takes. <laughs> oh yeah, I was I was just throwing a, a rage storm out there. I apologize for that. You can be such a dick. Black. I acted like I acted like such a dick. I need to apologize. Wait a minute. Was that me? So where we think uh, that GK is going to want to go? It's kind of interesting because now the uh, the closed maps are are closed down. Um, this takes Nordtown Nordtown out of out of the equation, which has always been a GK fave. I think GK might actually have uh, a better shot on random planes, actually, because they, they've played really well on it. Uh, I I would disagree. Calamity on a horse. That's uh, true. It's kind of one side. Even though GK does have Hero, which is an excellent calf. But I don't see him as much as a dog fighting calf like Calamity is. They're taking a frosty think... battle. Yeah, I was expecting a mixed map of some type. I guess they like your map, my dog. <laughs> I'm a trendsetter. Sure. Follow the Euros. That's why I wasn't too worried about it, because, you know, while other people are just now picking up Frosty Battle, I've already got two or three things in the works. So it's no big deal. Mad Dog was a. Mad Dog. I can hear the tension in your voice. It was cool. It's no big deal. <laughs> I, I don't you picked Frosty Battle way before it was cool. <laughs> I would like to say, Mad Dog's turning into Euro with all these ENL maps. <laughs> Therefore, be on the lookout for Balian King Legolas. I'm, I'm pretty certain that Balian's won't tolerate a European ruler. These European tendencies that Mad Dog's displaying could very well cost him his, his position as captain of Balian. <laughs> so back to the GKWK match going on. We got well, a map. Do we have factions yet? We are waiting for factions. I don't think enough uh, blood has been spilled in the intermission rounds for a faction to be decided yet. Yeah, that's yeah, tough. I think we have two more rounds to go before we'll actually uh, switch the map, if averages hold true. So we're going to see some Swedia and some Vagiers. Right? Which? Right. Who is you? Oh, I'm just, I'm just like choosing for them. Gotcha. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, 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 I'm down to see that. I would love to see Serenids. I don't, I don't think you take Serenids though when you got Vagers as an option, especially if you're GK and you can win this right now, because Vagers are just better Serenids. Same play style, they just do it better. And as typical, the team that was fighting didn't see the actual map choice. <laughs> There's Swadia. Faction comes out. <laughs> that means you have a faction in WK already. JK picked the map and they picked Swadia, so I wonder what WK picked. Yep, Vegas. Nice. Good call, Fainer. What else would they choose? I mean, that, that would make <laughs> sense. Kurgits, obviously. <laughs> Best faction. I'm quite disappointed GK didn't pick uh, Port Assault inside. No way they couldn't. It's closed map. You think we'll ever see Port Assault again, even though it's been fixed? Or is, is it just the, the reputation too tainted? Finally, the reputation's too tainted, I hope. You hand out a streamer? Or they're probably going to reset? Uh, it's a reset. Yeah. It's like a couple just of map downloads. It seems like pings have stabilized for the most part. I think Ragnall is spiking every now and then.
Still no WK team. Interesting. Mm. Did they finish downloading? Well, well we like... have a uh, we have confirmation. The uh, delay is caused by West Knights taking a dump. That is what I'm reading in chat. When a man's gotta go, a man's gotta go. Of course, being on the west coast, they probably have to take a dump. A little more than other people. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's totally a common thing, Black. <laughs> they gotta do something with in and out Looks like cows in spec. Now this is actually a new one on me. I've seen one or two rounds get played while they're choosing map and faction, but, but afterwards, yeah, I don't think I've post, ever seen one or two map and faction rounds get played. Post decision rounds. This That's is a pretty yeah. unique thing. We're 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 raising the bar here, people. That's what we're doing. All right, and, go ahead and restart. And as Mad Dog will tell you, it drives me absolutely crazy when this happens. Calm down, Black. And hopefully this is going to be live, guys. Looks good so far. Both have the um, GK doing the all three crossbow, th four cav. I believe we saw that last week. From uh, against IAH. Yeah, they did manage to uh, keep not. WK back at their spawn by doing that, which is good. Yeah, it was a strong uh, rush right off the bat. They, became, they got three cav, uh, three archers, and infantry, and they're yeah, kind of yeah. holding around their spawn, trying to work something on the top side. There's not a lot of cover up there. Yeah. They even went up and grabbed those ruins, so they're really pushing WK back. West Knights are in a, in a bad situation right now. Wow, that was a that was a They better commit to something. Push. Amazingly making it without losing anybody to the ruins there. Okay, you can't lost the horse. If they push these archers, they're gonna lose a lot of horses quick. They have war bows. Barrels, bows. yep. Barrels got a war bow. But he has no more. Cav crashing. Lots of bumps everywhere. That's here especially right there. Here on a horse with a sword is a terrible sight to see. First round of GK. Yeah, they, they just completely outpositioned him with that early spawn and then that, that kinda goes you know, first round if you take your time choosing equipment or you you know you're not sure what you're doing, it can uh, cost you like that. WK is responding by going to the other ruins, which I think is a good move. I'm sure Mad Dog disagrees with that. Well, as long as I got something else to do after that, that's kind of one of the th one of those things where you, you put yourself in a position, but hopefully you got a move or two after it uh, to follow it up. Well, Bohemond and Snoop gave a pretty good argument for taking these ruins, just because there's a flag that spawns right there, and there's also a flag that spawns on the hill. Um, closer to the other uh, faction spawn there. If your intent is to go to Master the Field, I personally believe that the Ruins is a better location. You have more cover, it's not as easy for Cav to come in and harass you. And you basically cover two out of three Master spawns, and your one is basically right on top of you. And if you can yeah. put that into those archers there, like they're doing right now, if GK actually does make a push, those archers in the back if they do their job correct, they will pick them off really quick. Yeah, 
Yeah, it looks like the archers in the back are not in the back anymore, though. <laughs> kind of clumping together. Well, they do have a uh, fire loot with the war bow sitting in the back ruins. And two in the first ruins there. Thing is, they can't get picked off by cheap case expos who are really good. It's kind of the thing right now. They're they're definitely all together. If they come to you know come out and take shots, then uh, I'd say they're definitely in more danger than GK is, who can just be sitting there waiting on them with the crossbows looking at them. So I think no I, matter where here, they'd always be at a disadvantage. Those archers, if they move too open, the cap can harass. And they only have one of a tree there to protect them. Yeah, if you look at it, GK's got all of the map. NWK has just no angles on them. But it seems that WK wants to go to Master, so I think depending on the spawn, that is favorable position for them. Having those archers being able to shoot onto the two of the masters is better, in my opinion. The GK eventually have to move out to master. If they do that with cab, expo, only time will tell. So there's one that spawns right on the ruins. There's another one that spawns on that big snowy hill, kind of off towards GK spawn. A little bit closer to GK spawn, right? Yeah, and the last one's right in the middle by the windmill. Actually, WK can probably cover all three spawns. Yeah. Even though I think WK is superior on the cav. The GK archer, gets the windmill spawn. Archer heavy. Yeah. Now this is going to be interesting. This GK is basically set up around this already. I think West Knights might be making a mistake getting all their archers out in the open so early. Seems like they're a little bit lost in what to do. Cab getting into early engagements. It's kind of the thing GK Cab definitely could have jumped on those archers. They had no cav around the. I think really they were busy them. though, fending off the WK cav who was trying to harass the explosion not to shoot the archers while they were moving. Two down on each side. GK already lost hero. That's going to hurt him in the cat. Mm -hmm. Hurt him with the cav. West Knights have the flag. You're taking hits. West Knights doing a good job. They initially oh, got their archers out in the open, but they're they're keeping them off and, and unprotected. GK up by two. West Knight, West Knight's archers, the only ones left. So they're gonna force a move. Ah, Once again, another, another, another shot. shot. Boom. They that jump. That GK strand. I expose. Yeah, they definitely got Highly lucky with that flag, though. If it had spawned in either of the other two spots, I think they would have. Uh, we would have seen a much different. That's uh, interesting. That match. WK picked up another archer. Hmm. Let's see how that works out for him. <laughs> They're currently splitting them up. I'm thinking if GK makes a push here, this is going to go bad for the BK. Yeah, it looks like the BK is just kind of working their spawn, making a wide spread. So much cover from that upper side, I doubt they'll really take that flank away from them. And the uh, lag stroke is down already. Chibuhag is getting a couple of good shots off too. See, I'm almost thinking pick up a couple of imp, that way you can get a little bit more map control, kind of insert your dominance on where you want to be as opposed to getting pushed to, you know, one side or the other. I 
think you gotta have very effective cav either way on this map. Seeing WK once again, they're just kind of pushed in a corner. I'm not saying they're not in a good position, it's just, you know, I hope that's what they want to do because that's all they really have available to them. Yeah, they're in one of the worst places to wait for Master. It's really defensible, but if nobody wants to get there, then it doesn't really matter what you're defending. <laughs> exactly. And just with all those archers, they have no way to, to put a um, foothold anywhere else. Yeah. So we're going to see another stream. Fenner, for um, future commenting, you need to really come up with some kind of until master fill, whether it's, you know, comedy or maybe a song or something. And you're like, oh, uh, this map. <laughs> this map going to master. Maybe we could take a I think I heard you. Joe saying earlier that you had a very beautiful singing voice. <laughs> Do you want to demonstrate it for us? Yeah, Fenner. Because that's all. What would that's you like about to all we have to talk about at the moment. <laughs> This round's going to Master. Please enjoy the music until Master pops. <laughs> you know, we can always talk about how Mad Dog's really bad and Calamity just kills the yeah. others. Well, I mean, that's understood at this point. I mean, nobody actually thinks Mad Dog is good at this game. How Peasant's 50 years old. Both these teams have been real well matched so far throughout the match. Yeah. Uh, pretty even skill level. Master pops and oh, right down there with Ruin. I think yeah, this is really bad for WK though because they're going to have to run across that field. I feel like the the skill and play level is even between both teams. I think GK is just is approaching every round with a much better, more sound strategy. Yeah, there it goes, uh, Veril just running across the field. There's no yep. cover there, like... He was delayed by the cab and just opened up that window for the crossbow to hit him. Yep. Two cab on Treyas over there, and he goes down quick. Killed by Calamity. Yep, WK striking mag. They're not out of it, They're out, they almost are, but if they can pick up one or two here, just like that. <laughs> That's a cluster. Wow, we have a 4v3 now. Get that sword out of your box then, kill him. Oh my god. Never mind, he gets Lance kill anyway. <laughs> right on top of him. What a mess. We got a 3v3 here. West Knight is playing very tough when their back's against the wall. Calamity down, Great Lance coming into play. One more crossbow up, 2v2, that's amazing to see at this point. Yeah. Arranged in a cab for both. Get that horse down and it's over. Archer pulled the juicy bait and gave uh, just enough window for Wiley to get that crossbow. Wow. And there it goes, WK yeah. pulls West out. West Knight clutched that one. That was, was impressive. Backs against the wall. Well, at one point, what was it? 5, 6, V3? <laughs> yep. Yeah, 5, V3. Scott and that cubby made the right moves. GK is keeping the same strategy. West Knights are... I can't tell if they're pushing the ruins or not. Maybe they're camping their... Uh... Spawn again since it worked. <laughs> Looks like they're leaning more towards the middle in between yeah. their spawn and the ruins so they can be better prepared for mass in case it spawns yeah. on that hill again. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was great. Uh, kill stealing my calamity. Yeah, definitely. Well, Master definitely seems how WK wants to play this map. They don't really want to push much or take much. They just want to kind of work the uh, master of the fields. They got a pretty big spread here, but the only archer that is actually vulnerable to Kev has an infantry with an all pick on them. And I say they're not in a bad position. Oh, that's oh. big right there. Two minutes to burn, a minute and a half to burn. Some minor skirmishing on. Yeah, WK is just moving an archer over onto the flank. The archers have really been the only offense for West Knight so far. So, you gotta work them in, make them as effective as possible. Chicken has definitely already got that side scout. Yeah. I'm really liking that uh, Treyas is going way over I like this. on the side. I like I like the spread, this archer mm -hmm. spread. Especially since it's later in the game and, and GK's already probably kind of settled into that wait till master attitude. Yeah. West Knight archers can, can pull off a kill or two here. I think this one heavily favors them. It's a good hit by Treyas. I think it already favors them. That was it. Yeah, it already favors them, but I'd be willing to almost lock it at this point if they can get one or two more kills. Kind of a big thing. Achilles is just kind of sitting back there waiting for Master, but if he would have been in playing on that with it with Treyas and they could have picked a couple off. Master favors GK probably. Oh, but I mean, with Treyas on the side, I mean that will definitely change change. I think bit. West Knights at this point should just ignore the master, protect yeah. their archers and get a spread on them. Yeah, I agree. Cause I mean what's GK gonna do? They're gonna sit there and yeah. shield with a crossbowman. Well right now uh, West Knights have a 180 degree spread with their archers. Actually, no, never mind. They do not. GK, I think, is making a run. Not the archers, yep. They had the spread. Yep. Interesting. It's going to come down to the last minute. We can get that flag up. Yeah. Langstrom with a kill. So I was about Granola to say, pushing it. Yeah, but no. it'd be smart to put the lone. flag as a little bait. Yep. They're going to have to go out and get them now. Yeah. And the archers are going to get free, free reign on them. It's really smart way to play master. Don't rush right to it. Let a little time. Let it develop a little bit. You already see the archers are already taken down. Hero early. This is beautifully played by West Knights. I'm surprised Ragnarok oh, had all played out though. Wonderful, wonderful intercept there. Yep. And that's your job, Zakev. Yeah. Sounds like a calamity fan, but to me. Yeah, I mean that was a kill steal. You gotta give him credit. He kill steal like a champ. Yeah. Oh. I mean, there's obviously that's a one. obvious right Ragnola. It was obvious Ragnola had that kill. It was all his, and then Cal just comes, swoops in, and steals it. Calamity just 
team hitting everybody. I think Calamity's pulling a zero here. He's trying to lose this. I don't. I don't think he can pull a zero as well as zero can do. Nobody can lose a game like zero. Wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see a kick pull for Calamity coming. <laughs> His team hitting everybody. I'm kidding. I'm wrapping it up. Good math for two. And I think it's blasphemous to to even suggest Cal Calamity could pull off a zero. That's just blasphemous. There's only one man that pulls off a zero, and that's zero. The first map was a uh, tie. 4-0 and 4-0. And uh, this first uh, round here, or the first four rounds, were 2-2. Uh, two and two. So we're completely tied up right now. Looks like a reset here. I'm the good joining the wrong team. I'm rooting for a tie. Following up the tie, personally. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind seeing a third map that is I actually with a little extra pressure thrown in. WK is going to take it on this one here. Can I get a streamer? Yes. Not to discredit any of GK Cav, but I think they have the Cav superiority, especially with those great lances. And I see Did GK he... stronger with exposed than actual archers. Yeah, and WK coming in with four crossbows. GK seems a little bit red here. Yeah, Actually, they're a little pretty bit aggressive laid off. that windmill. I still yeah. got, got an archer hanging back of their spawn. It's already getting harassed by Cav. GK. GK. It's a melee. It's wonderful. It's a, that's perfect by GK, though. You know the crossbows are going to stack up on that windmill and get their, and get their crossbows out and get ready to take advantage of the archer not having a shield and they pounce yeah. but West Knight's making them pay now it's better oh, wow. better execution yeah they are tearing those cab apart oh my god that's the cab right there yeah <laughs> just uh, everywhere Garen goes he's getting a bolt or a lance <laughs> every turn he makes that's rough. Another kill seal by Calamity. No, that's big right there. They only lost Regnola. Yeah. They're all going to have male armor next round. At least yeah, we already teams. established he was expendable anyway, right? He just needs to yeah. have a good weapon. <laughs> GK bumped up the cannon big time. Yeah. Trying to be aggressive early here. Uh, Pick out those exposures where they can move. Stay away from those great lands, though. Yeah. It's the trick. Yeah, it looks like uh, GK is hurting pretty bad. They haven't done too much damage. Aside from Barrel. <laughs> Barrel. <laughs> these, these West Knights are charging in. These guys are the great lances. you got to try and stop them. Take them out with a sword. GK's rear finally comes into play. GK was really it's fast in there. And those crossbows. It's 4 4. Majority of GK's troops left are. Was it 2 2? Two archers, two yep. cav. Two archers, two cav. They can keep their archers up. They definitely got the advantage yep. here versus cav. At this point, yeah, terrible communication there. Yep. Just followed him into his archer. I think it wasn't more communication. It was. Better baiting and pulling out that cab by WK. They had a cab dog fighting him the whole time, pushing him back away from the archer, just exposing the archer. Wouldn't be surprised if he's an infantry here on WK side. Cav def showing for WK. All Cav for GK. All Cav for GK. Wow. This is going to be a West Knights. Yep. 
They're following the same strategy you guys did when you saw the cab rush from Wapa. Yep. Vendor went for a couch over yeah. the railing. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're going to all cab, you're really going to take your time and let let everybody get away from the buildings. Yeah. I think if you're playing planes, a, bu a bull rush could has some legitimacy, but on this map, you kind of just got to map control it. Especially against crossbows, they can shield up. Still trying to understand the GK here, going all cav. And this is a deciding round, too. This is over if West Knights wins this. It's a pretty bold move. I'd say at this point you absolutely wait for Master if you're GK. I mean, even if, even if it does come down to Master, WK still has four Expos up, three cav heavily armored. You're not going to take them down so easily. Yeah, it's just at this point you got them spread all over the map and all their cavs still up. With Master of the Field, you can centralize them at least a little bit. GK needs to kind of fake like they're going after the the ground troops, and then dehorse some cav and instead make that their actual primary role. I think their primary role is taking out those expos. GK got it up a little bit if they don't lose more um, in the process. Um, the way West Knights have been playing, I am surprised that GK got to yeah. the crossbow so effectively. Yeah, I'm really surprised. I think that, that push with the Cav took him off guard. It's they were probably four. expecting them to wait till Master as well. I would even attribute that to a little bit of an overconfidence in spreading out those archers so far away. I mean, when you have now a Cav, it can only protect so many Expos. The ground troops, the D-Horse Cav, have to account for that Archer. You don't necessarily have to get in his face, but you got to account for him and know where he's at. And they focused on him maybe a little too much there. Getting picked apart by the uh, Great Lances. Yeah, that Great Lances. There it is. That's a tie charge. I believe that's it. Yep. Much props to WK. West to Knights uh, win this map. Yeah, definitely. And this is the zero map. And. Uh, that's the game. Zero makes a good point. I mean, especially after the first quarter of this map, GK ties it up on West Knight's map, going into a map of their choice. They're winning the first two rounds, and West Knight's, they get it together, and they, they pull out a uh, four straight. Sorry, five straight. Yeah. The momentum was definitely favoring GK. Yeah, it was definitely interesting. I think it was kind of a situation where, I don't know, I don't think GK really wanted to exchange with them as archers, so they mm -hmm. just yeah. tried to do the cav. And, and it might have worked, honestly, because their cav play was, was excellent there at the end. They just lost too many in the initial rush when it's just a bad position to try and make something happen. Definitely well played, good match. Really good match, close rounds. It's what you always like to see. Yep. Hopefully we'll see more again next week. Yep. With uh, yeah. Wapa and the uh, other Balian team. Yeah, the other Balian. You know, those other well, Balians. Well, they're in Balian <laughs> circles. They're known as the Balian A team. I mean, because they're obviously better. Obviously. I thought it was because they couldn't uh, remember the rest of the alphabet. Well, smart. That, You're smart, that, man, Finner. That, You're that, smart, that, man. That's a minor, minor detail. 
But the fact is, we're that the A team is the, the team still alive, as evidenced by them still being alive. We figured, uh, you know, third term in a row, we should give the uh, second string team a chance, you know, that kind of thing. Now, now, girls. <laughs> We so anyway. all know there's no A and B team. There's Thanks just for one team. And it's God's, because Aya is bad. Thanks for pulling us together, Finner. Yep. Thanks and, for uh, watching, everybody. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Once again, here with uh, Mad Dog, Black, and Zero. Yes, thank you for having us. And apparently Snoop.